going on YouTube? I wanted to show you the newest addition to my truck and it probably gained I'd say 50 horsepower. It, it's got to be at least 50 horsepower. So no further ado, here we go. Dun 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 dun! Yeah, guaranteed 50 horsepower right out of the box. No tuning, nothing. <laughs> so what today's video is going to be on me installing this uh, tachometer on the dash somewhere it says it lights up and that would be dope and if it lights up I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure now I know how wiring works back in the day when I used to put these on my car it uh, I'd never wire up the the internal lighting system and at night you couldn't see it so this is well well worth it so I will show you guys how to install this correctly Okay, now we got that out of the way. Ooh, shiny. Yeah, that's cool looking. I think that's sweet. Pretty light instead of five. Yeah, right! We're going to six! I don't know. If my truck red line's probably 50 something. It probably stops making power up there, too. Let's see what else is coming from this kit. So that's the mounting bracket. I'm pretty sure. These guys. Look at that. Some original redneck creepers. So wiring it too, you just cut the shit out of it and it felt good. Mod ends, thingies, my bobbers. Cap. Some other stuff. And instructions. Eh, you don't need these. Okay, so here's what I ran into. I went ahead and pulled the connector off of uh, the distributor and one of the wires fucking broke. So, I tried to pull it out and didn't accomplish anything but just ripping it apart. So that really, really sucks because now I'm not going to be driving the truck anywhere. Um, I'm not sure if this just controls the tack or if this actually controls the transmission shift points too. So, just to be safe, I'm not going to drive it. I'll drive the Cadillac. So tomorrow, I am going to go and pull one of these off. Alright guys, so this is the next day. Um, I kind of had a video on how to install a, uh, a tachometer, or I'm in the process of making it. And connector for my truck on the distributor, when I started messing with it, one of the wires broke loose. So what I'm going to have to do is go down to you pull it and clip a pigtail off of one of those trucks hopefully there's one there and then I will install it back on my truck wire it in and then I can wire my tachometer through that so no further ado we're gonna go ahead and get going down to the local scrapyard so here we go really anybody here which is really nice 
Oh my god, who the hell painted this thing? Alright guys, let's see if we can find one for uh, the channel. I don't see anything down there so far. Man, that truck that I wanted with the 5.3 that had the heads on it, they're missing now. Ooh, there's one right there. Let's see what that one is. And, of course, it's not a war tank. Keep on moving. Maybe I'll find one. Keep going this way. Oop, there's one. Is that a Vortec? Yes, sir. And it's got melted wires, man. I wonder what that was from. Okay, well, here we go. Now for, at least I'm not too far down, I'm not like way down there, because if I was, that would suck. So it's just a short walk up to the front. Okay, now we're pulling up at Ace Hardware. I'm running here and grab a couple of little connectors. I'm hoping they have the kind that have the heat shrink ends on them, because I really don't want to, uh, you know, have it just wide open to the air and the, all the other things. I want to do it right. Plus, if they have like, I doubt they're gonna have have it <coughs> but if they had like one in and two out connectors that would be great I doubt they're gonna have them but we'll see what happens so no further ado here we go found it. It's only a three pack. That's all I need. Ooh, that is a fucking sweet GTO. Uh, I want one so bad. Come on YouTube, help me out. I guarantee I'll give anybody a ride. You guys start liking and following my videos and once I own one of those. Hell yeah, brother. 